with the Jets, they're one of the few teams that they're counting on a lot of you injured players to come in. I'm not. I'm optimistic. Okay. I'm not excited. I'm not excited. Okay. I'm st- I'm starting to get thrilled. Not excited. <laughs> no, I'm not excited. We, Why did we not? not just have a conversation about the Jets? Yeah. You 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 were down here. He went all the way up here. Now he's back down here. I he think stresses I, himself out. Uh, I'm optimistic because mm-hmm. we have a really good team. This team could be this is the most number one in the AFC East. Yes. But we just saw Aaron Rodgers get her on the very first play. Yep. It's hard for me to get excited right now. I'm optimistic. If we make it through the first couple of weeks with no injuries, oh, my excitement's going over the roof. Mm-hmm. But heading into week one, okay, let me tread cautiously. Because last year, I went full blow, <laughs> head in, head first, and then Rodgers got hurt first play. It demoralized me completely and reshaped how I view the New York Jets. It reshaped it. But that was the worst thing that has ever happened to any franchise in NFL history. Mm-hmm. That never happens to any team. You grew as a man. I didn't. You grew as a man. I was good not experiencing that situation. Nah, you needed that. No, That's, I, I was God okay. God just said, we need one more battle for the Jets. No, I, I, I really, One more battle till they give us the chip. That was the last battle. The yeah, only moment that was probably yeah. worse in that moment was maybe the... Falcons fan base could feel this blowing a twenty eight to three lead in the Super Bowl. I'll be honest, twenty to three lead is, is bigger. That's number one. That's, That's number one. <laughs> How about trading two first, two seconds, signing a guy before he's played a snap for you, two hundred and forty five M's, and mm. he's dog shit. Also not great. Uh, I would say the Bills going to four Super Bowls never winning. That's That'd pretty hurt. terrible. That probably hurt for them for sure. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> dude, that would be like, so next year, bad. We're due. They kept saying we're due. We're due. Nah. I'd rather get to see it than never see it at all. I, I, if I want Aaron Rodgers to play, if he's bad, he's bad. But I want to see. Do you it. want to hear this? Peyton Manning threw for the most touchdowns and yards in a season. They we went to the Super Bowl Luke and we and lost Cox. by 35. I promise you, it was not worth it. It was not <laughs> worth it. I <laughs> swear bad, it was, was not worth you, it. I'm, I'm happy they that my the goat had the best the regular ass. season ever. So it was worth it. No. But eventually, no. once he, once he got the chip, it. it's like, all right, it's fine. The game Having the, the best moment, regular season ever was moment, worth it. In the, the moment, it was so tough. bad, they thought it was rigged. No, no that was that like, was probably no. the worst Super Bowl I've ever yeah, watched. Like, it was so bad. I'm telling you, from the heart, my the bottom of my heart, it hurts more that we lost because with that Super Bowl, he has the what, the biggest case That's true. for him being the GOAT. That doesn't that compare right to there. the Jets, though. Reminds me of Steph, man. No, it doesn't compare to no, the Jets. No, of course not. No, the Jets I'm not is saying worse. That. We don't the have Jets to do that. I'm we just talking about my We haven't been to the playoffs misery. since 2010. Like, why does he have to make everything about him? What the hell was that about? Yeah, I respect that. I mean, I'm just saying, we haven't seen the Jets gonna, make the playoffs since 2010. the best player he's ever had. in the power rankings. I'm not going to lie. So lie. He did last year. No, I the one we did a few months ago, I had them at like 10. Dude, there's no way. I had them at 5 last year. Oh, that was you? Oh, yeah, okay, facts, okay, facts. Okay, okay. I'm like thinking that last season, year. This, I put them at like two. I'll be honest, I have the Texans <laughs> disgustingly high also. So. I haven't done anything past But even though you guys today. lost, that season was worth it. He holds a record for most touchdowns in the season. Uh, just that game alone. The fact man. that you got the Super Bowl later in hindsight. Like, That's ah, really whatever. what saves me. Because but it, it hurts really bad because he would have won that Super Bowl for us. He was the best player on that team. Yeah. He was the best player in yeah, the league. Yeah, true. Because, yeah. The, it was just the case, especially at the time. Brady hadn't won the fourth one. Yep. So he really would have had that. Or the fifth. <laughs> or the sixth. Or the seventh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was a moment in time where, uh, excuse me, that was a moment in time where Peyton had a strong chance to really put himself in that GOAT conversation. Yeah. That's why it hurts me on that level. Because, Dell, the similarity to that is the Jets missing the playoffs in 2015. Mm-hmm. When we choke week seventeen, yeah, but against the Bills. I would I would take that season all day every day. That season was yeah. Fun. I mean we're deprived over here. You know we're we're starving. But we didn't make the playoffs either we're, that year. I know, but I'm saying we're starving on the side of the road looking for a crumb. Drew over here does he have a flaming young? No, but he's got a nice he's got a nice you know chicken sandwich. You know like he's not going hungry over there. No, not at all. Yeah, but even though y'all lost to the Super Bowl, I, I feel like that team suck. was special. Offensively, that team was I mean, special. It was the best offense ever. But I know. again. I it sucks. Yeah, that analogy sucked. That analogy, the yeah. chicken sandwich shit, it, it wasn't... It, Did you get it? I, I, I didn't understand it. it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying, like, I didn't have... I don't have a Lambo. I was just agreeing. I wanted to move on. It was really ass. Okay. I was like, yeah. He's like, ah, you don't have a Lambo, that but I, you that. got, like, a nice, yeah, a nice BMW. Like yeah, exactly. for sure. He looked at me and nodded his head. I understood. That was a smart... I was like, I'm just going to roll with what he's saying, okay? I respect that. I was just saying, I'll take a little piece of anything. You get us a playoff win, I'm cool with that. Make the playoffs. Something about Aaron Rodgers, it just scares me a little bit this season you talked about returning from injury returning from an Achilles injury and his last season as a starter 
26 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. Yes, the stats look good, but he wasn't good. And that's why going, yeah, go, going into last season, I said that I wouldn't be surprised nice. if Jordan Love had a better year than Aaron Rodgers did in 2022 because Aaron Rodgers simply wasn't that good in 2022, but he was hurt. But it, it kind of goes with the point. Aaron Rodgers is older. He's fragile right now. We don't know if he can sustain a full season and be healthy for the entirety of the season. So I'm cautiously optimistic. I hope he returns to form and he could be an MVP candidate this year. I think we have the offensive pieces to surround him, but I wouldn't be opposed if this is one of those offenses that are just run first yes. and we really play through the run Absolutely. game. Because I think Brees Hall can have an 1,800 rushing yard season if the offensive line holds up in front of him. 18 is a lot. No, I, I think he Spell could. Late. Brees Hall can be number one You're invited in to the party, yards. bro. Don't worry. 18 it, is a lot. Shit ton of yards, man. 18 now, is a lot. Said, I don't just here's a personal right. invite from us. <laughs> I think Brees Hall has that type of potential, but because <laughs> of the combination of the pass and run game that we have, we have Garrett Wilson to take care of as well. You told me Garrett Wilson was going to get 17. No, so that's let me what ask I'm you saying. It, it, top Brees five Hall offensive and Garrett football. Wilson tell you what, 18, really break out. How many, yards is, how many yards is Devon Achan running for? If he's running for 18, Jesus Christ. He's getting 13. Uh, I don't think... I don't think Brees Hall is going to run for 1,800. Uh -huh. I think he's that good that uh -huh. he can have a season where he can do it. Yeah. But that's why I want to play through our running game. I feel like him getting 12 to 1,300 yards is in the cards. That's very realistic. And we play through him. We play through him. We establish that running game. And then our passing attack opens up that much more. Because I think Garrett Wilson is a superstar. He's mm -hmm. not just a young star. He's not Chris Olave, with all due respect. He's not Devontae Smith. He's an elite-tier receiver. He can be a top-five receiver in the league one day. And it can happen as soon as this season. He's that good. I'm with you. I so, think that I just think... Yeah, I love this <laughs> talk, man. I think it's set up not perfectly. Not Tyreek yet, but he's on his way. It's yeah. set up perfectly. Right, I think you play with on the backbone of your elite defense, the backbone of a potential elite offensive line, and the backbone of an elite running back, in my opinion. And then at the head of it, you have a quarterback who has been basically the least turnover-prone quarterback in NFL history for a majority of his prime, for basically his entire career, if you take out like the 12 interception season, especially when he was winning MVPs. If you're going to have a team that could run the ball that successfully, not turn the ball over, and have probably, if everyone stays healthy, the best defense in football with multiple guys that can rush the passer, multiple shut-down corners, arguably the best corner uh, linebacker duo in the NFL with a great defensive mind, Robert Sala, it is set up to be perfect. And people don't want to hear it, I guess. It, it's the Jets. It happens every year, They're and they tired. manage to screw it up. But it's set up if you just look at it objectively. Of course, Rodgers has to stay healthy, but the pieces are there where they can be an elite team. Objectively looking, the Jets, is it's very easy to get excited about them this season and last season as well. Uh, if I'm going over the course of the last four years, the first two years, it was optimism, but optimism in the unknown that maybe we got a quarterback, but we didn't have a quarterback with Zach Wilson. This team is actually really good. And they can make it all the way to the AFC Championship game. And I think we got the def we got a Super Bowl-level defense. On paper, you have arguably the best roster in football. And I truly believe that. But Ooh. if there was no drama, it wouldn't be the Jets. And there's already drama starting with Hassan Reddick. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest concern Damn. right now. Because He's really Hassan, playing, y'all. Hassan Reddick is a good player. <laughs> And we need an edge rusher because we just steal. lost Bryce Huff. We lost Bryce Huff. You're like, all right, fuck uh, you. We'll take us on. We'll swap him. Nice I'm, cool I'm, I'm really not worried. Yeah, I know. Pay him. He, I mean, listen, hopefully the Jets do pay him. But if they don't, what's he going to do? Not show up to all? Like Chris Jones said out week one of last year. And he was fucking dominating. And Hassan Reddick's not Chris Jones. He's not Chris Jones, but he's a high level player that so, I don't right. think sitting now is going to miss time. Yeah, that's going to miss, I'm wondering. You know, no, I'm uh, saying it doesn't. No, Hassan Reddick doesn't have the cachet to where he can sit out. I hope we find I mean, him. Man is we sit find out him every himself. week he's when gonna he does get, show He's going to get fined every day. Eventually, he'll show up. Maybe they have an extension. Maybe they don't. But he's going to play this year. Because he said he would play without an extension. He said that. Yeah, that he he got to be a man of his word. Lied. That means he'll leave next year. Oh, he fucking lied. No, yeah, flat, like, flat <laughs> he out lied. Flat out lied. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. He wants his bread. Like, are we? He is getting his money. Just not past this season. So, fuck you, Lamb. Is that what we're saying? No. Fuck Brandon Ayuk. Is that what we're doing? CD Lamb is getting his first payday for real. Hassan Reddick's been a veteran. Hey, come on, bro. I'll be honest. Hassan, I don't think the Jets want to extend him until they see him play. Yes. Because yeah. you have He's to an pay. He's older defensive you, lineman. You have to pay Sauce. You have to pay Garrett Wilson. You're like, right. you have two, like, 
record-breaking deals sitting at your hands potentially, and you have potentially too Jermaine Johnson and Will McDonald to fill out that edge rusher. So if they're both studs, you don't need Hassan Reddick. You don't need to pay him. We didn't <clears throat> make a fuss about paying Quentin. Quentin got his money Servedly. instantly. The same will happen with Garrett. The same will happen with Sauce Gardner. I 100% believe it. We're not going to whiff on those guys. At least I hope and pray to God we don't whiff on them. Mm-hmm. Hassan Reddick was in Japan playing with swords instead of in, at uh, mandatory points. minicamp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, never do that to There's Howie. always something with the Jets, and we're starting early right now with this drama because Uh-oh. he said he was going to play. Oh.